Here recently, I made out a video about what I call the greatest strategy that's out there. Okay. And a lot of people, I looked it up on YouTube and a lot of people have different things that they say is the greatest. You know, some of them talk about how they made $50 into $2,000 or $100 into $5,000 or in, in a week or in, in a month. And I can see how they can say that's the greatest strategy. But here's the way that I define a greatest strategy. It's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money can I lose and will I lose on this strategy? And at the same time, I still want to make a nice rate of return. Okay. And, and can I sleep at night? Is this a safe strategy? Do I have to, uh, how hard is it to implement? Or uh, would it be safe enough that if I wanted to put, you know, my big nest egg in this thing, if I had $500,000, would I feel safe putting that into it? And still, could I sleep at night? Or could I lose my entire fortune doing it? Okay. To me, you have to put all those different things in it to determine if something is the greatest strategy or not. Yeah, it may be great that you can buy an option and you buy it for $100 or $200 and then in a week later it turns into, you know, $3,000 or $1,000, okay? The lottery ticket approach. That's what I call that. Well, mm, not so much. I can't call that the greatest strategy because I'm not going to go put $50,000 into that option. Okay? I'm talking about, when I say greatest, I'm talking about a strategy that can return you a consistent, without worrying about it, okay? Without stressing over, can I lose all of my money? I'm talking about a strategy that can still produce me a great return. And that doesn't require all of my time to do it. I don't have to sit in front of a computer all day long to do this strategy, okay? In fact, you don't even really have to sit in front of a computer hardly any time. Uh, if you traded this stock every day that the market was open, and that's roughly about 20 days a month, all the time you need in front of this computer is about 15 minutes. Okay, but for, and then the other thing is you're not going to trade it every day. You really do wish you could, okay, because then you would make us crazy killing. But, and I'm talking about another thing that makes, uh, that can make it the greatest strategy is when you do not have to be right on the direction. What if this stock falls, you got a hundred dollar stock and it falls to 50 bucks because it came out with earnings. Am I going to be down 50%? If, if you do something and you're going to, you can be down 50% on the amount you have invested, that's not the greatest strategy. Okay? But if you can buy a stock, it goes down 50%, okay? And you're only down 1% or 2%, that's something that can be considered one of the greatest strategies, Okay? And not only that, because it's down 50%, you get to bring in income from that. And then if it turns around and go up, <laughs> you get to grow your assets because of that. Just like you would in any other time where you buy a stock. When it increases in value, you grow your asset. Okay, But the difference is with this strategy is when it decreases in value, you get to take in cash. And when you take in cash, while it's down, you can buy more shares. And then when it increases again, you don't just get your money back. You start making money on the new shares that you bought. I put all of that into consideration for the reason why I say the compound collar is the greatest strategy out there. It can make you a consistent 
25% a year. And I'm being very kind with 25%, okay? But more than that, you shouldn't lose no more than 5% of your account value, no matter what. And the only reason why you can lose that is because you have to pay for the protection for when the stock goes down, okay? And with this strategy, we even have ways to do some creative financing, it's really advanced, to help pay for you buying insurance on your stock. That's why you're protected, because you have insurance on your stock. We insure our cars for accidents or vandalism or windshield breaking or anything. We have roadside assistance just in case we have a flat or our car breakdown. We have insurance on our house. We have insurance on our life, but we don't have insurance on our stock portfolio, uh, stock portfolio investment. Well, guess what? If you lose your portfolio, that can hurt you just as much as losing your house. You may have to work another 10, 20 years because you lost so much value in your money, okay? That should be insured. Well, I'm telling you, with the compound collar, which I call the greatest strategy out there, you can protect it. Why won't they let you do that in a 401k? I'm gonna tell you why. They don't know how to do it, okay? I know it seems like these people are wizards and they know how to do all this stuff, but I'm telling you, there are a lot of people that don't know how to do the compound collar. And if they know how to do it, they only know how to do the basic compound collar. And that's good, but when you, I'm sorry, not the basic compound collar, the basic collar. But when you learn how to do a compound collar and you really understand it, because when you're doing it, it's hard to see how you can make money with a stock that's just going back and forth, up and down, or slowly going up, up and down, or slowly going down, up and down, okay? Because the number one thing that you need from this stock, more than picking a good company, more than a company with great earnings, more than you know a stock that's giving you great returns or paying a great dividend, all that stuff can be a bonus. But the number one thing that you need to make money on a compound collar is you need a stock that moves every month, okay? The more it moves every month, the more money you can make. And it don't matter how much it moves, and it don't matter which way it moves. That's why I will have this debate with anyone out there of why the compound collar, when properly executed, or with someone that knows what they're doing, is the absolute number one strategy it is when it comes to trading stocks and options. And if there is something better, I want somebody to debate with me because I don't believe it, okay? And I know about a whole lot of strategies, okay? I, I know about way more strategies than I talk about on slow life trading. But it's just that I don't like those. I like stuff that's going to be slow, where you can enjoy your life, not stress over your money, but still make a great return. And so all of this is why the compound, when you think of compound collar, I want you to think of slow life trading, okay? because I don't think nobody is making this debate as strong as I am. And I don't think no one is teaching this strategy as much as I wanna teach it. Uh, because it can seem like a boring strategy. And when you talk about stocks and options, people wanna make these crazy returns that almost seem unrealistic. And when I say unrealistic, I'm not talking about doubling your money every year. People wanna double their money every month. Okay, that right there is something that can't be done on a consistent basis. The strategies I teach are strategies that can be done on a consistent basis. And now 
that I have learned how to really explain this compound collar? You trade this compound collar and you may not want to ever trade anything else. But if you do, you can learn because you're already making money with the compound collar by paper trading and taking the time to learn these other strategies. Because what I have seen from some of my students is that if you take the time to paper trade and you paper trade when this market is going up, when this market is going down, when this market is unpredictable, going both ways, you take the time to paper trade through all of that, it builds your confidence and your knowledge base. And you know that even when you have a loss, it's only a temporary loss. You know with these strategies that you can make it all back, okay? You just gotta be disciplined. But the cool thing about a compound collar, and this is another reason why it's the greatest strategy out there, you don't even have to be disciplined. The only thing you have to do is when this stock moves, make the adjustment. If you could get you one adjustment a week, okay, again, it don't matter if it goes up, and it don't matter if it goes down, and it don't matter how much it goes up, and it don't matter how much it goes down, okay? If you can make this adjustment at least once a week, okay, and that's for the guy that don't really want to do anything, because the guy that really wants to do something, there are times where you can make these adjustments five times a week, okay, or three times a week. But if you could just make at least one adjustment a week, the returns can be phenomenal. And if you want to make if you want to make those great returns, the way to make them is two things. Find a stock that moves, and when it moves a strike price, make the adjustment. Even if you have to make the adjustment twice in one day. You don't have to because the next day you probably can do it. But if you make these adjustments, the more adjustments you make, the more money you're going to make. That's why it's so awesome. I have seen people make 100% a year during the compound call. And you can make more than that. But I know you can make 25%. And that's if you don't even want to adjust all the time. Okay? So anyway, guys, if you know anyone that wants to debate with me about which strategy is the greatest, I would love to do it. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. And until the next time, as usual, keep it slow. Peace out and keep it slow. Talk to you later.